Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Today we have a quick review and unboxing we want to do about a product that is going to come in very handy this winter. As you can see by the leaves on the ground, fall is here and winter is just around the corner. So let's go in and let me tell you about this product. Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Today we're going to check out these battery heated gloves from Sabot Heat. New for 2022. Winter time is just around the corner. Keeping your hands warm is a pretty high priority on my list. So I have already had these out of the box. I charged the battery packs up. So I'm just going to kind of show you what all is in the box again. We have the charger, the two plugs, each glove has a battery pack. They are in a nice carry bag. You can see their logo there. Sabbath Heat. Very nice bag here. Plenty of room to get those gloves in there because these gloves do have some size to them. Now here's the glove itself. Let's get these out of the way. They do have Velcro so you can cinch them up around your wrist on both the gloves. They have drawstrings so you can cinch them up around your wrist. Keep snow and cold air out of your glove. This is going to be your power button. This is leather here. It says it is a goat leather. These are water resistant. You can operate your screens with the finger pad there. You're not going to be able to text, but you can flick through your screens on your tablet or your phone. One on each finger, so whether you're left or right handed, you have that option. The batteries are inside the glove. There's a little zipper compartment inside here. And you would just I believe I've already got this one unzipped. Unzip it and grab the battery pack out. This is your battery pack. It just plugs in to your charger. And then you would do the same with this one. And then you would plug it into your 12. Then you would plug it into your 110 outlet. If you're Camping like we do a lot of I have a, an inverter to where I can plug this into my inverter and charge it when I'm at camp So this would be my biggest use for these gloves. I've already charged the batteries So we're just gonna Pull the cord out of the pocket and plug the battery in And then we will put the battery pack in this little pocket I'm trying to do it so y'all can see it, which makes it a little bit harder on me to do. And then pull this little zipper until you shut the little pocket off. Now that it's secure in there. It won't fall out and it's up in the glove. So where the zipper is, you're not going to get that battery pack wet. I do believe that may be one of the new uh, releases for 2022 is I saw older 
set of these gloves and the zipper was right here. The zipper is no longer here, it is actually inside the glove. So it'll be protected. Now that I've got these plugged up, this is your power button. Push and hold. And that's your highest heat setting. And these gloves heat up within about three seconds. I've already had them on and uh, the temperature in the house was 73 degrees and the gloves were getting warm. So we were going beyond 73 degrees. You can adjust down a setting, a little bit cooler, a little bit cooler and even cooler. That's your lowest setting. To power off, you would just push it, hold it until the light goes off. Now we haven't reached really cold temperatures in Texas yet. So something like this isn't needed right now. But winter is just around the corner. Now if I have returning watchers and you've paid attention to some of my other videos, you'll know that I have issues when my hands get cold. They draw up on me to where I can't really use them. So when I'm at camp doing our overlanding videos, our camping videos, and when it's cold outside, these are going to be a welcome to me to keep my hands warm so I can maybe keep the operation of them for a longer amount of time. If you're out sitting around a campfire in the cold, you could throw these on. Go ahead and throw the power on. I'm already feeling heat. And I'm feeling quite a bit of heat in the fingers. Up over the top of my hand. Now most of the heat I'm feeling is coming from the top of the glove and the fingers are really toasty. That didn't take no time to heat up. That's going to feel so good at camp, sitting around the campfire when it's cold outside. Or if you need to go out to scrape the ice off your vehicle. Pretty much anything that's cold outside, uh, you throw these on and your hands are going to stay warm. It does have this cinch where you can cinch it up uh, around your wrist and you can see that they come up pretty high on your arm. Movement's pretty easy. These are brand new so I'm sure as they're used they'll get even softer. But movement seems to be fairly easy. They look good, look sporty. I gotta turn that off though, even on lower temperatures, that is hot. So they're warm even without turning them on, you know, which is hot right now. In the winter, uh, I still think without using the heating element, these will keep you warm. Uh, but when it's really cold, and you really want to warm up, you hit that button and turn that heater on and it's going to warm you up. Now I could see these being a very handy item to have if you're a motorcycle rider or if you ride ATVs a lot out in the cold and in the winter time, especially if there's snow on the ground. I could see these being a blessing. Now I do believe these run for $89.99 on Amazon. Price could change. And there will be a link in the description of this video if you want to go check these out. Order a pair, you can do that. They go on pretty easy. They come off pretty easy. They do have a sizing chart to where you will measure around your hand to know what size glove you need. When I measured mine, I, I don't remember the exact diameter, but I matched it up to the chart. I ordered that size and these gloves fit. So the chart worked for me. The sizing was correct. Now on this box, 
it shows that they're battery powered, they're splash proof, heating, leather, designed. And it says that it heats up in three seconds. It has two 3,000 milliamp ion batteries, uniform heating over the whole piece, advanced leather goat skin, splash proof design. It is carbon nanotube heating technology. Carbon nanotubes are a kind of carbon nanomaterials which have super electrical and mechanical properties. After more than 10 years of research, 47 patents have been applied for the technology system based on the growth and application of carbon nanotubes. for 2022 now these have been out longer than that but they did change some stuff on this particular glove for 2022 from my understanding you can see they have two 3000 milliamp ion batteries uniform heating goat skin leather and splash proof design now this is the glove Try to give you up close. Now I have had them out, trying them on. I've already charged the batteries and tried the heat port, and they work really good. I did watch some older videos of some other reviews of the older gloves, and I do think they changed some stuff up. One, your battery. It's on the inside of these. The zipper is on the inside. In the other older pairs, there was a zipper right here. So since they moved that zipper inside, there's no way water or wetness is going to get through the zipper because they're protected in here. When I had these on, the heat I could really feel in my fingers and over the top of my hand. I mean, drastically. You could really tell it was heating up. I saw reviews on the older gloves and people were saying the fingers weren't really warm. On these gloves, the fingers are really warm. The fingers, in fact, is the first place I started feeling the heat. And then I, I could feel it across the top of my hand. There's no doubt these are going to keep your hands warm. They fit really well. There is a size chart you measure around your hand. It'll show you how, which I did. And I went by this chart and ordered these and they fit very well. For size reference, this is a deck of playing cards to give you an idea of how big these are. And this is a size large. Oh, no, 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 no,